about 220 million years ago, I mean million years ago, was the start of the Triassic period. That's when the, the Sydney land basin started to form all the way from up past the Hawkesbury to Batemans Bay. And during that time, the seas rose, mountains rose out of the ground, and when they subsided, they pulled basically like a big, like a big backwash of sand and grit and mud as far away as Broken Hill. All that sand and soil started to, to wash in from the country and came down, and over a period of millions of years, over three to four hundred metres of it in depth and settled in that basin, 300, you know, over 300 kilometres in length, and uh, has to back to the Blue Mountains in, in width. When it settled, over more millions of years, millions and millions of years, it compressed and became sandstone. Hence, all around Sydney, when the first fleet arrived and they were thinking, well, what are we going to build things out? We haven't got any bricks and there's no bricks and fantastic, we'll use sandstone. And uh, that's where all the old jails were built out of, all the old walls. 50% of Sydney was, was built out of sandstone. And that's about 90% of Sydney's basin. The other 5% is taken up by, by shale. And that sort of sits back a little bit past the Blue Mountains because as you can see the sands, just like a, a beach when the tide comes up, washes out, sand comes, settles behind the sand, there's the shale, hard rock there. That's how, that's how the geology of, of the Sydney basin came about. Hence we've got beaches now and uh, you know, I'll explain a little bit how beaches form in our next episode but be quite amazed how, how more sand keeps on evolving on the beach and how it gets there. That's the, that's the next little thing. Have a think, have a think about how sand gets on the beach.